Good afternoon. How everybody doing? What's up? Hope everybody cool. Just wanted to uh, drop a little knowledge today. As I always say, as God feed me, I'll share it with you. That's why you don't see me um, posting a lot because, you know, a lot of people say God is talking all the time. And I've just haven't found that to be true. He has his spoken word and it's here for our learning. But in order to hear from God, you have to sit down and you have to read his word and hear what he's saying. So if you're not reading the word of God, then you're not hearing from God. So I come by to share a little knowledge with you about change. Change is hard, it's difficult, but it's necessary. We want great satisfaction in our life. We want great returns in our life. We want great re rewards in our life. But in order to get anything in your life, you're going to have to make changes. A lot of times and oftentimes dealing with our health, we have to make change to live a healthier life. You have to change from having bad eating habits and adapt to new eating habits. We have bad personalities. We have to change from that bad posture of personality to a better personality. We have bad relationships. We have to change and do new things, different things. We have to think about what we do in our relationship. Consider, have patience in our relationships. And so everything requires change. But I also found out if you have the absence of change in your life, you refuse to change, that's a symptom of death. If you don't change, it's a symptom that you're dying. Your relationship requires somebody to change. You're waiting on the other person to change. They're waiting on you to change. And the relationship is suffering and it's dying because of the absence of change. Your health is bad. And the doctor keep telling you what you must do. And because of the absence of change and being stubborn, you're physically dying. And so when change is not available or detected, then that's a symptom of death. So I just want to encourage you. Whatever's going on in your life, if the relationship is bad, if the health is bad, if the attitude is bad, come on and let's change. Come on and let's change. We're not getting younger. We're getting older by the minute. Things are coming to an end. And we want to enjoy this part of our life. We want to enjoy our families. We want to enjoy our children, our grandchildren. We want to enjoy the people around us. But if I'm the person that has to change for the environment to be more pleasurable, then that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to allow the environment, another person, determine what I know needs to be done in me. I'm not going to allow another person's response determine how I'll react. So let's control our minds. Let's control our hearts. Let's think on good things. Let's love one another. But more than anything, let's stop being void of change. I hope this helps somebody. I hope this has cause somebody to think about their own life because all of us can use change. 
every last one of us, we can use some change. So just change and make the atmosphere better around you. God bless you all. I hope this helped you. And I was just thinking, and I was in my own head. And so I just wanted to share it with you. But change and stop dying.